Hi guys. Hello Sandy. Hi George. Welcome back to the Guitar Heart channel. And um, yeah, it's good to see you guys again. I hope um, you've been doing lots of practice and encouraging yourselves to keep going. If you've just tuned into this channel, just know we've started over about 21 lessons ago with Sandy. Mm -hmm. She already had a little bit of guitar um, learning in the past, but not much no flamenco or no, the techniques no that we're doing. And I'm really pleased uh, how she's going. And Thanks, um, keep up the good work. As I said, we're talking about summer's coming. Mm -hmm. So in a couple of months time, or well, the weather's getting better. So as you improve, we're gonna go out to the streets and start playing when we're ready. Yeah. So I'm really excited for you, Sandy. Mm. And I'm excited for you guys. So if you've just started tuning into this channel and we encourage people to have a go, practice. Can be a little bit of a slow lesson, but just remember it's like a real lesson. Mm. I'm not just showing you like a five, two minute technique. It's like a whole session where you sit with your teacher, which is me, and also be encouraged with this by the student, Sandy. So you just sit and watch and practice, write any comments. And if you're already quite competent as a musician and you want to learn how to teach, this is good value too, because I've been teaching for 30 years, mm. from four year olds to 90 year olds. <laughs> so you're in good hands. Mm. Yes. So be encouraged, you can pick up some new teaching techniques or learn how to play. Mm. And be feel free to go back to the earlier, earlier videos. And there's also video exercises for the total beginners. There I show how to put your finger on the guitar. And we are using the finger style technique with the flamenco. Mm. So when we pluck two fingers, walking, and we're doing some nice strums with the fingers. So I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to write to us um, if you've got any advice that you or any suggestions. We're happy to hear from you. Mm. Just yes. sit back and listen and practice and um, yeah hope you enjoy it uh, let's start with um, let's start with the rumba rhythm okay and this time um, let's do a C minor chord okay. yeah C minor chord it's a bar chord so you can always look this up in other places C minor and then we're going to go to G Minor seven, something different, and then we're going to go to G sharp. G so it's like oh, G yep. sharp. Yep. yep. So okay, we're doing this. In yeah, the yeah. Just I'll be a little bit slow. Chord changes. That's I'll right. We'll just give down. you because this is one of the songs that we're going to be learning later too okay. with these chords. Okay, so stay tuned, everyone. And then we go to A sharp. Lift up the pinky, A sharp 7. So C minor. G minor 7. And G sharp. That's the 4th fret. And then the 6th fret, A sharp, pinky up, 7. Sharp. The sixth fret. That is the sixth. Okay, so just put it down as A sharp seven. So just put the middle finger down. That's oh, well. that's it. Right. There you go. That one. Wow, that sounded so different with that. Yeah. Really right. Oh, I should have it. So you could call it out. Okay. Let's just, just what we'll do is just do the two chords. Start with C minor and G minor 7. Let's just focus on that. So we'll practice our rumba rhythm. Yeah, we haven't done that for a little while. We'll see um, how you're going, Sandy. Alright, 2, 3, 4. So thumb, thumb, fingers, thumb, slap, finger, fingers, finger. Or thumb for Sandy. The last one I did finger. As you can see in earlier videos, just look up rumba rhythms.
Stop yours? for a minute. Um, my thumb. Oh, okay. If you're putting, yeah, some, I used to get that when you put too much pressure. Yeah. You put too much pressure on your thumb there. So you're putting more pressure on your hand. Mm. But you really have to do that pulse thing where, uh, because you're trying to hold it. Yeah. And there's so much and pressure does there. That have something, does that have a bearing on the thumb? <clears throat> yeah, because you're always like trying to squeeze. You need that rest. Mm. I can't hold it for too long. I've been playing for 30 mm. years. So you need that. Or you can lift it up when we do like the stop, like the hand lifts up. So I'll just exaggerate. That's an exaggeration. So I'm lifting up, but I'm just lifting up just a little bit off the strings. You're ready for the next bit now. Okay. Two, three. What's four. the next bit? So the next bit was G sharp. Just remember, you, it's, it's, yep. it's all good. You just move up one and put the fingers down, and then move up two, and then put the finger up. We've got a really nice tune for that for this sequence. Oh, cool. Okay. And Jeremiah, one of my students, he's learned all this too. Oh, nice. So he's been learning a lot longer. And, um, yeah, hello, Jeremiah. Hope you're keeping up with your practice. Oh, and Angie, a student, which hopefully we'll see them in the future on the videos. Mm. In the near future. Excellent, that'd be good. It'd be good encouragement for everyone to see some other faces. Yes. <laughs> one, two, three, four. So, C minor. Two, nine, seven. G sharp. You've tried something different. Yeah, I'll practice that during the day. I've yeah. got homework. Yep, me too. I've only just started practicing after two months of being sick. Oh. Okay, A minor. <sighs> okay. And remember this one, I'm focusing today a bit on when I slap, lifting up the fingers. Yeah. Lifting up the fingers a bit. Just okay. if you can get, get that technique as well, it'll be good. So you can. Uh, the endurance of playing the bar chords. Mm -hmm. It's a very common thing. Two, three, four. How much easier is that? I'll put it that way. It's a little hard one there. Spanish F and then E because then we can focus a bit more on speed now right. and then yeah. um, and that's a good way if your hands are getting <coughs> tired you always got that so it's a good thing to do yeah and I think I think actually I've lost a bit of my speed because of having two months of 
when you're yeah. sick. Yep. So, yeah. The nice weather's coming up. We're going to yeah, get lots of energy. <laughs> Let's try it there now. Okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, all right, do it however you feel. Now. <laughs> now you've got the options, you can practice them afterwards mm. as well. Mm. So I'll put you on the spot here with yeah, everyone no, it's watching. All right. Sorry, I'm being difficult. No, 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 <laughs> it's being normal because <laughs> you think I've got this. Yeah, just I've know. got that. Just think of there's different ways to do things, and mm. your brain will learn different things. Mm. It just takes a bit of time. Mm. All right, so you can go this way or this way. Sorry, George, yeah. it's so easy with the cold. I mean, you don't have the energy to push yourself like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So I've got to start again now. Yeah, and um, you've actually picked up real quick, so don't worry. <laughs> really quick. That was like a good speed. Mm. It's going to be great. Okay, um, the triplet. You want to do a muffle sound or a clear sound? What would you like? Whatever, whatever you want. We're just doing thumb, fingers, thumb, thumb, fingers, thumb. What we're doing is a muffle sound, so we're not pressing the sound, just sitting on top. to make it better. But other than that, it's looking good. Two, three, four. practicing the techniques nice and strong. It's fine, this is the way to practice. Slowly, strong. Eventually the, the muscles just start, naturally start speeding up too. It feels um, still like clunky. Yep, yep. Let's keep doing it. Not like your hand flows like that. And mine is still like that. Mm. That's fine. As it gets stronger, mm. it will flow. Mm. So you're doing it the right way. It's still a little bit more. Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure you guys pick up your guitar and just watch us. You practice too. 
Yes, to yes. Him. Don't make me do all the work. Yep. We need help. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. Two, yep. three. Let's go a little bit faster now. Okay. Two, three, four. four. Lift up the middle finger. That's it. Yep. Two, three, four. So it's not super smooth, it's still like that, 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 things that are. Mm -hmm. Sorry, how did I say that? <laughs> I'm doing it a bit like. Just working all the strokes. We need to do flamenco tapping. Yeah. Be fun. Uh, one more time. This is really good practice for you. One, two, three, four. No, <laughs> but got to toughen up. Yeah. Can't just do music all day. Mm. Okay, let's have a look at. Um, okay, we did the rumba, the triplet. We did some new chords there. Um, let's have a look at our improvisation. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to start a little bit of a new song, or maybe next lesson? And I'll go for a new song. Yeah. Okay. This one starts right here. Does it have a name? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it, we'll call it um, the chords that we just did C minor, C minor, G minor, A sharp, um, A sharp, sorry, C minor, G minor 7, G sharp. A sharp seven. It's going to be all around those chords. Mm -hmm. So there's a nice little melody here. Too. That's good actually. That'll get me into the, yeah. those chords. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So it starts here with the first finger on the third fret, first string. So then we pluck three plucks there. Actually, I'll play the song. All right. Yeah. So, 
is uh, we repeat the part a few times, but I might just play each part once. parts will be like probably three or four times there'll be harmonies in there and everything oh. so that's the crux of the song okay. and we'll be like <laughs> started okay so I thought that was good for me to show you guys just how the melody went before we started mm. <laughs> before you run off saying what are we learning here today I was actually going to suggest that I try and do the chords for you mm. but it would be kind of disjointed but I yes could still, I think next still time yeah, next time next time next time more so always way. next time yeah <laughs> another way to get you, you guys to visit us again Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so, so the first beat is. Okay, so three plucks here. So one, two, three, and then second finger. And then second string, sixth fret. Then sixth. Let's start that again. So first string, third fret. So one, two, three. That's it. Now we go to the third string, fifth fret. First finger. First finger, so, uh, fourth fret, second finger, then pinky on the sixth fret. So one, two, three. You hear a lot of that three times in uh, certain spots. Okay, let's start again. Two. Can we do the second part again? Because that's a really good goal. Okay. So. So the next part. Actually, no, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you're right. A little bit of repetition in there. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go through that again. So, one, two, three. Third string. Second finger. Okay, let me hear it again. Itself. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do it again. Two, three, four. Third finger, fifth fret. bit where it goes the second string third fret fourth fret and then six 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 so do 
you see how all the exercises now they're all just similar just the mm. using the finger works that we've done in our previous lessons to be able to do songs mm. that's all it is i did hear you i did hear you, you i heard you say six 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 <laughs> uh oh i want to use that again <laughs> Now, oh, now you're going to get me home now. Yeah? <coughs> you baffled me now, don't you? Yeah. 666, six, six. okay. Let's change the song, everyone. We don't want the 666 six, six in this song. That's okay. third finger on the third fret first string third fret first string and we go third finger fourth finger third finger first finger first fret third finger let's do this do it again so start with the third finger this time you can keep your first finger down two three four three no, no, this is not yeah, it's very, can be very confusing. Three, fourth fret, three, first fret. Good. Now I want you to do the exact same thing on the second string. So, third fret, second string, fourth fret, third fret, first fret, third fret. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So that's it there, two, three, four. Now second string, same thing. Comes a little tricky part where we put our second finger on the fourth string. Well, uh, second finger on the fourth fret. Okay, then the pinky on the 6th fret, 4, then 3, 3rd fret, and then 4th fret. So it sounds like this. This is a little exercise that we're doing. Let's try that again. So, 4th fret, 6th fret, 4th fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, and again. Okay, let's put it all together now. One more part after that, that section will be complete. Okay. Might as well take it from the beginning. Uh -huh. That way you've got the whole thing of the beginning of the second part. Because we've got the first part. Okay. So this second part, we haven't given this song a name, but it's time to come up with a name very soon. Mm. Um, so it's third finger. Put the first finger down as well. And we go third fret, fourth fret, third fret, first fret, third fret. Then the same thing with the second string. Third fret, fourth fret, third fret, first finger, third finger. Let's do that from the beginning. So I'm just going to call out the frets now. Two, not the fingers. Two, three, four. Three, four, three, one, three. Same thing. Three, four, three, one, three. Now put the second.
second finger on the fourth fret, right over here. So four, then sixth fret, pinky, fourth fret, first finger, third fret. Let's do that again. Second fret, second finger. One more time. Second finger, fourth finger, second finger, first finger, second finger. Okay, here comes the tricky part here. So we're going to use our second finger on the sixth fret. So sixth fret, second finger. Eighth fret, pinky finger. Back to the second finger. Now we jump back with the first finger on the fourth fret, and then we'll land with the third finger on the sixth fret. So that's a few things going on there. Second finger, sixth fret. There's a lot to think about this one. Then pinky on the eighth, sixth fret. First finger, jump back two frets to the fourth fret and then with the third finger there. Okay, that completes the second part. So I hope you guys enjoy that. We'll complete that song next lesson. Mm -hmm. So I'll just quickly just play that first bit, first and second part. I'll do it like three times over so you can feel the essence of the song. enjoy that as I said like when the chords come in you to remember the melody. Okay. okay. Hope you guys enjoy that. Hope you enjoyed that Sandy. Yeah. Something very different. Mm, yeah, and remember good. later on improvising and Asian will come in there mm. in that key. Mm. So then you can break up the song with improvisation, add harmonies in there, stops to make it interesting. Yeah. And it'll it'll be all the same patterns that we've been learning but just on different frets. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Very good guys, mm -hmm. practice out there. Um, yeah, hope you have a great week. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye.